Yes, so Tay-Sachs disease is a severe genetic condition that affects the brain primarily, uh, but also affects the sight and hearing. Um, it is a recessive genetic disorder, uh, which means that uh, babies who have Tay-Sachs have inherited one mutant copy of the gene from each parent. Uh, and when that happens, those uh, infants, if they have the full-blown form of the disease, which is called infantile Tay-Sachs disease, um, they have a situation where they begin, they're born looking normal and healthy, and they begin to achieve some uh, neurologic developments with age. And then somewhere between six and nine months of age, they start to lose uh, the milestones of development. So they may uh, lose the ability, for instance, to sit. They may lose the ability to control their head well. Uh, they may lose the ability, uh, some of their abilities with um, language, like cooing and babbling. Uh, and uh, then, unfortunately, that there is a, an ongoing progression, uh, and these children often uh, develop seizures. Um, they're generally diagnosed sometime by the time they get to be a year old, but uh, as I said, they would have often begun to lag uh, developmentally um, earlier than that. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, the natural history of the disease is often from a combination of them having seizures and them, uh, not being able to control their secretions and, and aspirating and having pneumonias. Um, the infantile form is generally fatal uh, sometime under age five. Um, now, there are milder versions of this condition. Um, the gene that's defective is in a gene called hex A. And uh, if there's no hex A, you have that severe infantile form of the disease. If there's partial function, it, they may have a juvenile onset disease, which is somewhat similar, but occurs significantly later, doesn't really start until two and a half to three years old on average. Uh, and those children uh, decline uh, somewhat later as well. Um, but still, that has a, uh, those juvenile onset uh, children have a, you know, they have a very uh, difficult uh, life. Um, there is a third form, which is uh, at least common, but when there's a, even more of the hex A activity present, which is called late onset, those patients uh, come on in their teenage years and they have um, mostly problems with balance, uh, walking, speech, they, they lose those things. Uh, not, not the ability to cognitively to speak, but their um, articulation of, of speech. Uh, so those are the three uh, main forms and those kind of creations in this movie, but those are the three main forms.